let's take a look at this limit here. So if we tried to plug zero in with, you know, our using substitution, we would end up getting one divided by zero. And this represents a non-zero, or this is a non-zero, I should say, divided by a zero. And maybe you remember from a pre-calculus class that this tells you that at zero, there's a vertical asymptote. Vertical asymptote. And we can clearly see that from the graph of the function that there's a vertical asymptote at, at zero. Okay. So does this function though, even though there's a vertical asymptote, does there is there a does it have a limit? So we're gonna just create another table here. I'm just gonna pick just a couple of values actually. Okay. So these will be our x values. Let's pick negative point zero one and point zero 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 one and then oop, negative and then positive point zero 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 one and point zero one. Okay, so we're squeezing in on zero here, x's, according to this table. Let's see what happens to f of x. Well, I'm not gonna make you sit through these calculations, I've already done them, but one over point zero, negative point zero one squared, well, once you square it, it's positive, and this turns out to be 10,000. This one turns out to be 100 million. And, and there's symmetry going on here because, of course, when you square a negative number, you get a positive. So these positive and negative values are gonna, they're gonna be the same. So this is what our table looks like. And we could put more values in, and what's going to happen? As we get closer to zero, this number is going to grow really fast, right? We went from 10,000 to 100 million. If we put more zeros in, we'd get even bigger. And if, you know, more zeros in, meaning point zero 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 one. If we, if we looked at this number, uh, the x value, the f of x value is going to be huge. And so what happens is, is this function, as we're approaching zero, the function is actually growing without bound, meaning it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, the closer we get to zero. So this does not exist because it grows without bound. So I'll, I'll write that out. Grows without, without bound. Meaning the closer x gets to zero, the bigger the function gets. Okay, so this is another way that a limit uh, might not exist. See you in the next video.